Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Bluey Red Riding Hood. Everyone called her this because she wore her red cloak all the time. Oh, what a beautiful day! Oh, I just love water in my garden. Oh, there you go, flowers. Aren't you a pretty bunch of yellow tulips? <sighs> ah, smells like spring! One day, Bluey Red Riding Hood's mum called her over to do a special job. Bluey! Huh? Yes, Mum? Nana's not feeling well, honey. Please be a sweetheart and drop off these cookies that I baked. Is she okay, Mum? Yeah, she's alright. She just has a sore knee from playing too much ping pong. Here you go. Okay, Mum. I'll make sure Nana gets these. Thanks, honey. And whatever you do, stay on the path that leads you down the wildflower woods. Don't get distracted and get home before dinner. Okay? Okay, Mum. And Bluey? Yes? Don't talk to strangers! I won't! Bluey Red Riding Hood then started her journey over to her Nan's house. Bluey Red Riding Hood continued down the path of the wildflower woods while singing songs. Look at all these beautiful flowers! I'm gonna pick some for Nana. <laughs> so many flowers! Ah, smells so nice. Bluey Red Riding Hood was so distracted by the beautiful flowers that she was unaware of what was going on around her. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A wolf appeared from out of the woods. This wasn't like any other wolf. This one was a big, bad wolf. Bluey Red Riding Hood was much too busy looking at the flowers that she didn't know that the wolf was looking at her. Ah! You scared me! Hello, little girl. What are you doing all alone in these woods? My Nana's not well, so I'm on my way to drop off some cookies to her. Oh, and where might your Nana live? She lives in the big house right at the end of Wildflower Woods. It's not far at all. I just have to stick to the path. Ah, so your Nana. Does she live alone? Yep, that's why I go to visit her all the time. And today, I'm delivering some cookies to her. Ah, I knew I smelt something delicious, something scrumptious. Yep. They're my mum's famous cookies. But you can't have any, alright? They're all for Nana. Don't worry. I'm not in the mood for cookies. Bluey Red Riding Hood was so distracted by the wolf that she forgot all about her task. She even forgot the one thing her mum told her not to do. Don't talk to strangers. Well, you best be off to your Nana's house. You don't want to be late for dinner. Oh, of course! Oh, thanks so much for reminding me, kind wolf. And by the way, my name's Bluey, but you can call me Bluey Red Riding Hood. Thanks for the chat. Bye! Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> and just like that, the big bad wolf quickly sped off into the woods. Meanwhile, Bluey just walked and walked and walked. But she didn't really know where she was going anymore. Um, is it this way? Or is it that way? Oh, where am I? All the flowers from the wildflower woods don't look the same anymore. Bluey Red Riding Hood looked around for a moment then started crying when she realized that she was lost. <laughs> A woodsman was walking nearby and heard Bluey Red Riding Hood's cries. Oh, hello little girl. Why are you crying? I was bringing this basket of cookies to my Nana. She just lives right at the end of Wildflower Woods. Oh, you must have been distracted. You must have been on the right path because you're holding wildflowers in your hand. You want to follow me and I can show you the way to your Nana's house? Yes, please. Come on. Let's get going now. 
The woods aren't safe and, uh, and there's a naughty wolf hanging around. Now off Bluey Red Riding Hood and the woodsman went back on track to see Nana. Meanwhile, the big bad wolf took a shortcut through the woods. <laughs> I'm going to have a big feast tonight. And quickly made it to Nana's house. The big bad wolf knocked on the door. Who is it? Nana yelled out. It's me, Grandma. Bluey Red Riding Hood. I brought you fresh cookies that Mum baked. The door's open, my dear. You can come in. And with a grin on his face, the big bad wolf helped himself into Nana's house. Not too long after, Bluey Red Riding Hood and the woodsman arrived at Nana's house. We're finally here, woodsman. This is my Nana's house. All right, little girl. You're here now. Go on, get inside where it's safe. I hope your Nana enjoys those cookies. Thanks for all your help, woodsman. You've been very kind. Bye now. The woodsman went back on his way. Bluey Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. Who is it? Her Nana yelled from inside. It's me, Nana. Bluey Red Riding Hood. The door is open, dear. You can come in. Bluey Red Riding Hood hesitated for a moment because her Nana's voice sounded a bit strange. But then she remembered Nana had hurt her knee playing ping pong, so maybe she was just in pain. So Bluey Red Riding Hood opened the door and went in anyway. The wolf dressed up as Nana was lying in bed. Hi Nana, I'm here. Mum sent me to give you these cookies and I picked some wildflowers for you. Thank you for coming all this way to visit me and to bring me food. Come closer, dear, so I can give you a hug. Come on, dear, come closer. That's better. Little Red Riding Hood got closer and she left the basket of cookies on the bed. As Bluey Red Riding Hood got closer to Nana, she noticed Nana looked different. Nana, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, and Nana, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Nana, what a long nose you have. All the better to smell you with, my dear. And Nana, what big t -t 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 teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> The wolf jumped out of the bed and charged at Bluey Red Riding Hood. At that moment, Bluey Red Riding Hood realised that it wasn't her Nana at all. It was the wolf that she met in the woods. Come to Nana. I'm gonna get you, Bluey Red Riding Hood. Anyone? Still close by, the woodsman heard Bluey Red Riding Hood's <laughs> cries. Mine. Hey, what's going on here? Help me, woodsman. There's a big bad wolf in Nana's house. What are you doing here, you big bad wolf? Mind your own business, woodsman. Leave that girl alone, or else you're gonna regret it. No. And like a brave knight, the woodsman charged at the wolf. Charge! Yeah! Yeah! Get out of these wolves, and don't ever come back again! Go on, get, get! Yay! Thanks for all your help, woodsman. If it weren't for you, I'd be toast. Oh, that's all right, kid. As long as you're safe. Oh, but where's your Nana? Did you end up giving her your cookies? I don't know where Nana is. The wolf probably got to her first, because when I went into the house, the wolf was already in Nana's clothes, laying in her bed. <laughs> and at that moment, Bluey Red Riding Hood heard a familiar voice. Bluey dear, is that you? <gasps> Man! Oh, Bluey, thank goodness you're all right. I'm all right, Nana. How about you? I thought you got eaten by the wolf. Oh, let me tell you, these legs never ran as fast ever in my life. I locked myself away in the cupboard and he never caught me. Whoa, what a story, Nana. Oh, there's your Nan. Looks like everyone is safe. Thanks for saving us, Mr. Woodsman. 
I promise I'll always listen to my mum from now on. And I promise never to talk to strangers ever again. I just want to make sure the woods are safe. After all, I'm the woodsman. Okay then, bye. Wait, woodsman, sir. Would you like to join us for some tea? Oh, thank you. I'm not going to say no to that. Hey, uh, do you have any more cookies? We sure do. A whole basket of them. Let's go. Enough diddle daddle. Right behind you. And from then on, Bluey never talked to strangers. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. For mum, big girls, quick to subscribe.